Yeah, what's going on guys? Brilu here, and in today's video, I would like to share my opinion uh, on Black Ops 4 so far, after playing the two betas that they had, like, uh, you know, almost a few weeks ago now. Uh, I know this is super late, but it wouldn't be classic Brilu without me d doing these type of shit extremely late, so I'm, I'm just doing it, I'm doing it now because uh, the Blackout beta is tomorrow. I figure I'd do that, I'd do this before that, but... Yeah, so now I had made a Black Ops 4, uh, you know, like impressions video beforehand, but that was just based on like, uh, you know, the trailers and videos from YouTubers. Uh, you know, I hadn't actually even played the game before that. This time, like I said, I've actually played the game, but my opinion is still sort of the same. It's still like a fun COD game where you run around a map and shoot people, right? Although, you know, I was a little bit worried at first about how the 150 health and no health regen was going to work out. It seems... You know, it's, it does seem to play really well now that I have played it. Uh, like, it was a little bit weird at first, but you do get kind of used to healing yourself, you know, manually after a while. Uh, I actually do kind of like it better than auto uh, regen healing. But yeah, uh, although since everyone has like 150 health now, uh, it does feel like it takes forever to kill someone. But I actually do prefer that as well, because I, I I always kind of did hate dying in, like, one bullet to every fucking gun in the game. Uh, the maps are kind of meh, uh, at least the ones in the beta. Although, to be fair, companies usually... They usually try to show, like, their best maps in the beta to, like, entice people to buy the game. Uh, I don't know, I just don't... Not a huge fan of the maps that they showed, at least. Uh, they feel kind of, like, corridor-esque. So, like, they're very co close quarters. There's a bunch of alleyways and doorways everywhere. Uh, just, this is very, like, windy and just a lot of different flanks and stuff, which is, I don't know, it's just kind of weird, I guess. So, yeah, the specialists are, for the most part, the same as Black Ops 3. And it's like, yeah, of course, no shit. It, it's a sequel, or I guess pre prequel, uh, in the Black Ops series. Uh, there's a few new ones that weren't in Black Ops 3. And, um, for the most part, they aren't too overpowered. There are some that are definitely annoying, but that's, like, in every Call of Duty game, there's always, like, annoying shit that's, like, very cheesy and just fucking annoying. I don't know why they put that in the game, like, place and forget explosives and stuff like that. So, yeah, um, there's a few new ones that weren't in Black Ops 3. Uh, they have the same sort of special or ult that fills up over time. Uh, but this time each class also has like an ability that is on a cooldown. So like the guy that who I was mostly using had barbed wire that I could place down and section off like a part of an area, right? Or put it in like a doorway so if so if an enemy walks through it, they kind of like get trapped, right? So yeah, and I believe it was on like a almost maybe like a 40 second cooldown or some shit. Like that one was particularly long. I think each specialist cooldowns are different, I believe, because uh, there was because there was the one dude who has. Uh, you know, the only advanced movement in the game has a very short cooldown for his grapple hook. I think he's like the Ruin dude, yeah. Uh, you know, which brings me to the other topic, obviously. For the most part, besides the one guy ability, like I said, the Ruins, it's all boots on the ground, so, you know, at least these kitties can be happy with, you know, I want boots on the ground, <laughs> I don't want skill-based games. I want people flying because I can't aim well. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, this COD is more SMG dominated, I feel, because like I mentioned with how the maps are, it's very close quarter combat, which kind of sucks for me because I'm more, uh, I'm more of an, uh, assault rifle type of guy, but, uh, that being said, most of the guns are good in the game. There wasn't like one gun that st stood out and just was dominating everyone, which, you know, a few CODs definitely have that problem, like Advanced Warfare and like, I think... Infinite Warfare had that problem too? I can't remember. So overall, it's just a very interesting COD. Um, I wasn't that interested before, but after playing it, it, you know, it is fun. Uh, I guess because they changed it up, the formula, with what they usually run with. You know, so like Advanced Warfare, they changed up the movement system, and then they kind of went back, and they did the same thing for like three CODs, and then they went back to World War II. And now this COD, they're finally changing things up again, right? So like, uh, this predictive recoil... The health is 150, you don't just auto-regen, you have to actually heal yourself now, and there's different, uh, specialists have different abilities and whatnot, so it's kind of cool. Although that being said, it just feels like Treyarch was like, hey, what games are really popular right now? Oh, okay, 
<laughs> we'll get some Rainbow Six operatives with, with razor wire and, you know, like sp different special abilities. Put them on cooldowns like abilities in Overwatch. We'll put in CSGO, we'll put in like a CSGO game mode. And of course, make a Battle Royale game mode. <laughs> Um, but yeah, even after all that, it still it still does play like a fun COD game. It does seem like they stripped down the game and tried to rebuild it from the ground up as a competitive game. So I'm super excited for the competitive scene for Black Ops 4, but I'm not so sure how the casual player will, will enjoy this game. I, I just, I think they'll probably just keep on bitching like they always do. Uh, so yeah, we'll just have to wait and see for when the game finally releases to make, you know, I guess sort of like a final opinion on it. And the Black Hole Beta is tomorrow, like I mentioned before, which I wasn't, I was kind of like, ah, oh, shit, like another fucking, like, Kata, of course, is going to be like, oh, jump on the, you know, the Battle Royale hype train. But, uh, yeah, but after watching the trailer for it and seeing vehicles and, like, helicopters and shit and basically seeing, like, Raid and other fun Black Ops maps scattered around the map and having, like, the Call of Duty tried and true, very smooth 60 FPS gameplay, it, I, I'm definitely excited for it. So yeah, we'll just have to wait and see how that plays tomorrow. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, obviously this is my opinion on the... Mostly on the beta. Uh, like I said, we'll just, have to wait f we'll just have to wait for the full game's release. See you guys tomorrow on the beta. Peace.